Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a portrait, a uh, male portrait. Um, if you if you want to, you can try make it look a bit like you, but this tutorial is just random person I'm going to make it look like. So if you want to do it like you, and then just add some extra features. So first up, you're going to do like a circle or something like that. Hold on. Mm, make a bit smaller. Yeah, so a wee, a little circle, rough circle. You don't want to do like a perfect circle with a stencil or anything because then it would just not be the best. So it would be like way harder. Oh my, like, oh, that is so annoying. But I know, yeah, it would be way harder uh, to make it look like an actual person because. An actual person doesn't have a perfectly um, rounded face and it would look very, very weird if you had a perfect circle. So, we're not going to do that. And yeah, so once we do this, we're going to bring a line going down. Like around that. Like basically two of the circle that you drew. It's like two of these. Two of those. And yeah, like downwards. So like, as you can see, it's like that long. So then you want to do line at the side like that. Kind of slanting in as you can see. And you want to curve it in like that. Now this guy's going to have a sharp jawline. Very, very nice. So make sure you try to do it symmetrical on the other side. Ah, that's not very symmetrical. Also, if you want to, you can do it kind of like curved. But I'm not going to do that though because it wouldn't be symmetrical. If you're going to do it curved or something, uh, do it on the other side as well. So here we go. This is looking very good so far. We're going to click on the rubber. We're going to click on the rubber just like this. And... Raw about these things called guidelines is what they're called. If you did not know. So basically just raw about the lines and stuff. So can rub that bit out. And then make sure you go back to normal and fill it in. So now you should have a basic head shape. Um it may look a bit weird now. But we're going to uh, add the eyes now. So the eyes are just going to be little circles, um, kind of. So we're going to try, if you can. And that looks terrible. Like, if you do have a stencil, this is the time to use it. Because if you want. But make sure it's, like, rough. Because if you don't do it rough, then it will look very weird. So. Dot in the middle. That oh, looks a bit weird. Uh, maybe do it like sideways oval, maybe like that. So kind of look like an actual eye, but kind of not. So like kind of point upwards because uh, this guy's gonna be kind of sleepy. I'm gonna make him look. Then you wanna try. Do that. If you're doing what I'm doing, if you if you're doing yourself, do what type of eyes you do, or if you don't know how to do the type of eyes you do, maybe just try like a circle or something like that. Something like this. So yeah, it might not look the best, but uh, yeah, uh, quite good. You gotta do a little line for the nose because noses are weird. You can do what is it like? Hmm. Yeah, you can do try to do a realistic nose if you want to, like that, like that. And then once I do that, we gotta do the actual mouth. So we're just gonna do. He looks very gloomy, very sad. Might look a bit weird, but uh, yeah. It's going to look better once we actually finish it. Next, we're going to do the neck about like 
teeny tiny bit, maybe about like one inch, um, away from the sides. Well, depends how big you've done the head. So, yeah, then once you do that, you're gonna come out, try to straight lines, and then go downwards. Come out, straight lines, downwards. Then you do like the neck of the shirt, kind of going down because that's what shirts are like. You can color the shirt in anything you want, put any design on it. But right now I'm not going to do the design. On the neck you have uh, like little bits in your neck. So I'll do that. Like that. And now it might look weird. But we got to add the hair and we got to add the ears. So I'm going to go ahead and add the ears first. So we know where to put the hair. Okay, so still looks a bit weird. This looks like his hair, but I promise you it's not. We're going to do big, messy, messy, like, hair because he has bad head. And, so yeah, we're just going to... If you want to do it like me, you can. But, see the easy, I messed up. There you go. Now, it looks a bit weird. Just connect them, maybe, if you can. And then, also, if you want to, you can do that. Then you either color it in, or as you can see, actually, before you color in, he does kind of look like Rick from Rick and Morty, so please do not uh, just leave it like this. Get your eraser or your rubber, and then just rub at this top bit of his hair, and we're going to do a hairline, so he doesn't look terrible. Still won't look the best, but he won't look terrible. He won't look terrible. Gosh. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Gotta do. There you go. That's way better. Now I'm gonna give um what I would usually do, just like shading, because that's just not my type of thing. Coloring. Them. So I'm gonna do little lines on these for a bit of detail. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna just test what this looks like. Little bits like that. It does make him look. Like, he is sleepy. We could turn down the opacity a bit. Which you can do if you're drawing this on paper. If you just lean a bit lighter. Um, let's shade in this bit. No, that looks like he's just some sort of demon or something. Don't do that. Okay, but... Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Um, Colour in the hair. And then once you colour in your hair, you're going to do some little lines on the hair. Because you don't have perfectly weird, smooth hair. You have little different parts of hair. You could maybe do a bit coming down like that if you want. Somewhere you could do it over the eye. You can do it anywhere you want. So, yeah, like that. Like that. And boom. You are nearly done. You might notice this looks a bit weird. So we're going to fix that. So, going to rub that out. And rub the other side out. If you already colored it in or did a lot of stuff, um, well then, I think you're going to want to erase it. Now, you can either choose whether you want it to come down, which I would not recommend if I'm being honest, because then you would have to think of like a design and stuff, and also just generally looks better if you don't do that. As you can see, it does look pretty good here. Just contains the shoulders. Maybe you can do a little tiny line, just like that, but. If you do decide to do this, what you're going to do, you're going to bring it out a bit more, like that, so it looks a bit more round. And then you can do that, but I'm obviously not going to do that, because I said I do recommend just doing this, but uh, yeah, it's up to you guys whether you want to do it or not. And yeah. There is your portrait, uh, sleepy guy, whatever you want to say. Um, 
you can maybe add eye bags, you can add shading, you can color it in, you can do loads of different stuff. By the way, this bit down here is his hair. So make sure if you are coloring in the hair, just make sure to um put in that bit as well. So I'm just gonna pause the video and then I'll unpause once I have uh shaded it in and you can see what I've done. So yeah, here is mine fully shaded. Um as you can see I did uh make it a bit darker around these sides with going over little bits at the lines and also like the edges here and here but yeah and the last thing you're going to do is write your name or your signature or if you have one um so yeah i'm just gonna write my name tssy is it and we'll see you can um it quite small which is what i'm gonna do but not that small that you can't see it but small that you can uh not see it that much like it doesn't stand out more than the drawing so yeah that's mine guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all next time peace out